Is it possible for a train to travel from New York to Los Angeles in just 40 minutes? This sounds like a scene from a science fiction movie. However, in fact, this is the speed that can be achieved by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation's new high-speed rail project, the Super High Speed Train. It is reported that the speed of this high-speed train can reach 1,000 km per hour, surpassing the current fastest maglev train in the world, the JR Maglev, which has a top speed of 603 km per hour, and also exceeding the flight speed of commercial airplanes. Therefore, People are curious whether this concept can become a reality and whether it will change the future of transportation. In 2013, Musk proposed the concept of the Hyperloop, which is also known as the Super High Speed Train. According to the concept, Musk's Super High Speed Train design would be faster than an airplane. During the journey, the entire cabin would be suspended in a tube, which can reduce air resistance to a state similar to a vacuum. This design can greatly reduce resistance and increase speed. Although Musk's Tesla cars and Falcon series rockets have been very successful, the implementation of the super high-speed train still faces many challenges. However, this has also given China an opportunity to lead the way ahead of the United States. By the end of 2022, China's high-speed rail network had reached 42,000 kilometers, ranking first in the world. However, as people's demands for travel speed continue to increase, China's demand for land transportation speed is also increasing. From maglev trains to superconducting maglev trains, and now to the super high-speed train, each one has raised higher requirements for speed. Therefore, in 2017, Chinese researchers decided to develop a high-speed flying train that combines supersonic flight technology with rail transit technology. By applying superconducting maglev technology and vacuum tube technology, near-ground supersonic flight can be achieved. This technology not only has the advantages of high safety and low energy consumption, but can also reduce noise and pollution. In order to achieve commercial operation of the super high-speed train, China has divided it into three phases, 1,000 km per hour, 2,000 km per hour, and 4,000 km per hour. Compared with traditional high-speed rail, the running speed of this super high-speed train has increased by 10 times, and it is five times faster than the speed of commercial airplanes. Imagine traveling around the world in a day will no longer be an impossible thing. In addition, the super high-speed train is equipped with a low vacuum environment, which minimizes air resistance by 3% compared to traditional high-speed trains. The maglev technology allows the train to travel at high speeds while hovering in the air, achieving ground effect flight, which is a very cool and highly anticipated technology. But can this technology really be realized? As is well known, when the speed of a high-speed train exceeds 400 km per hour, more than 83% of the traction force is wasted on countering air resistance. To reduce air resistance and friction with the tracks, a vacuum environment needs to be created, which is the most challenging aspect. Therefore, China established a test line in Natong, Shaanxi in 2021. Through the relentless efforts of researchers, the first full-size test run of the aircraft was completed on January 19, 2023. It is understood that the highest speed of the aircraft is 50 km per hour, and the distance traveled each time is 210 meters. Although the speed and distance are relatively short, the maglev technology of this facility has successfully eliminated the friction of the worn tracks, while the vacuum tube has reduced air resistance. This paves the way for higher speed tests in the future. The emergence of electromagnetic propulsion has made it possible for high-speed trains to catch up with airplanes, especially since China has successfully developed this technology. On October 20, 2022, China successfully operated the world's first electromagnetic propulsion train in Jinan, Shandong. Its maximum propulsion speed can reach 1,030 km per hour setting the world's highest speed record for large-scale high-speed electromagnetic propulsion technology. 
The advantages of electromagnetic propulsion are not limited to assisting acceleration, it can also reduce wear and tear. As mentioned earlier, the two major obstacles to high-speed rail acceleration are friction and air resistance. Electromagnetic propulsion reduces the pressure of the train body on the track through upward electromagnetic force, allowing the high-speed rail to reduce wear and tear during acceleration. If electromagnetic propulsion is applied to super high-speed trains, the dream of high-speed trains catching up with airplanes may become a reality in the future.